Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about a special winter technique I like to use. I call it the one-two punch for winter fishing. It's a jerk bait and a big bait. These are two baits that are really staples. Not so much the big bait, but really focusing in on the jerk bait. The jerk bait is a staple in winter fishing and always has been. It catches a absolute ton of fish and they are actually really good fish as well. Um, the jerk bait, I don't throw mega bass uh, stuff because I mean that stuff's like 30 bucks and I lose baits so I don't want to risk losing a $30 bait. Uh, I'll save that for the swim baits but I am throwing the Demiki Slim Jack. It's like, I don't know, 12 bucks at Tackle Warehouse and what, it, what I really like about it is it's shallow. It's not a deep diver. I, I really like, I don't like anything under that dives more than five feet because most of the fish that I'm fishing, I, you know, I fish these same fish for years, and they know, they know that they, they don't really hang deep. I can cover. I'd rather fish a jig if they're hanging near the bottom. Um, a jerk bait, something that I want in the top range of the water column, because I want them to look up and be able to see that flashing, moving action. It's pretty much a hard fluke. That's how I think of a jerk bait. Except flukes slowly sink, and these actually suspend. The Demiki Swimjack, it actually does not suspend. It floats up very slowly and it has a nose up float presentation so I'm probably going to get some storm suspend dots and put them right over the eyes just to have it suspend and keep that nose down presentation I'll have to fool with it a little bit but it's a very good jerk bait it has a real wide action almost like a triple trout just a really wide really wide action when you're just straight reeling it and then when you jerk it it really has a very erratic action it won't just dip nose down sorry about that let me get one line out so I can show you what it will do it won't just do the normal jerk bait action where it just you cast it and you jerk it down and it just dives like that. It won't do that. It'll flip to the side. Sometimes it'll shoot up, flip down, flip to the side again. It's just a really cool bait. It comes with really nice hooks on it. Um, I haven't had a problem with these hooks. They're very sharp. It's just a quality bait. I'm throwing it on 15 pound fluorocarbon line and a 7 foot medium heavy rod which pretty much the Daiwa aired 7 foot medium heavy pretty much acts like a medium. It's a very soft tip and then just a normal, my normal quantum reel with a 6, one, six two, one gear ratio. So nothing super fancy. Uh, I don't have a special jerkbait rod or anything like that. But um, I'm going to show you some techniques now. And um, before I do that, I'm going to go into the, the big bait system. And th with the jerkbait, you can use, you know, it's not, it's not a set. You need this color and this color big bait and this uh, size and this bait and this line. It's not like that. Just <clears throat> get whatever you fish a jerkbait on. Uh, get your favorite colors of jerk baits. Get your line, whatever, whatever your jerk bait, your comfortable jerk bait setup is, and get that. The big bait, it is a little bit more specialized. Let me grab my big bait rod. It's the Okuma Guide Select, it's eight foot extra heavy, um, right there. And then I'm throwing the eight inch weedless Huddleston, just because I'm not gonna. Now it is more complicated with the big bait. Uh, because you don't want something like a spro floater, you know, you don't want something like a triple trout, because the, those are those are summer summer baits, not summer. You can fish them in fall, fish them in spring, but they're warm water baits mainly. You, I mean, I'm not, I haven't thrown the spro in I don't know a month or so, just because it's just a cold water bait. It's just a, it's cold water season now. These are the cold water baits, so keep it soft. Um, there's really no need to go to a hard bait. And if you were fishing something like a huddle jack, which is the hard bait version of a of a huddleston, or I mean, there are baits that work in the, hard baits that work in the winter. It's just I don't I don't really have any of them, so I'm not fishing them right now. The eight inch weedless huddleston. A lot of you guys, most of you guys, don't have this. I understand that. I almost didn't get it. It's a giant bait. I mean, look at the thing. It weighs almost five ounces. So you don't need this. Just any kind of huddleston will do. A six inch weedless, a six inch open hook. Um, you know maybe even the weedless shads it's not really big bait but it might work maybe um, but but pretend this is a six inch for all you guys who have six inches and for eight inch pretend it's an eight inch so what I'll do is I'll, I'll fish the jerk bait I'll cast it out I'll retrieve it if I get a hit that's great I'll catch that fish and once I find that you know you, you won't really get I don't really catch a lot of just random fish on a jerk bait I'll find the area that they're really working at. Because when you're fishing a jerkbait, you're looking for suspended fish. I've never, I've never really found a suspended fish that's just chilling by itself, all in the middle of the lake. You know, 
So they're usually together, which means you throw, keep throwing the jerk bait. If you caught a fish on the jerk bait, keep throwing that jerk bait. You'll catch more fish, hopefully. If you don't, move on. Uh, but if you find us a school of suspended fish and you're catching them on the jerk bait, keep going. If they're five pounders, great, keep throwing the jerk bait. Don't even mess around with the big bait. Um, if they're one pounder, one to three pounders, keep throwing the jerk bait. But when that bite dies off, because every time when you're fishing a school of fish, they'll start, they'll get their gears turned and they'll realize that that ain't real and we'll stop biting it. The bite will slow down and then you don't know what to do. You keep throwing the jerk bait and you'll, you won't you will catch any fish. That's when you switch to big bait. All the smaller fish have already been caught, hopefully. Um, and then you have the bottom dwellers, which is what you're hunting for for these. And then you fish under that those suspended fish. You fish through them, under them, above them with this bait, and uh, and you can you can really haul out some giant fish. I mean, I have seen. Well, I was just fishing at my other lake, which is very clear. It has almost three feet visibility, which is insane for a pond down here. Um, and I was fishing the jerk bait, and I saw a fish come up and just mouth it. He mouthed the side so he didn't get hooked. And then I threw the big bait out, and I felt. I, honestly, it was the biggest thump I've ever felt in my life. Just a giant. It was. Pr I mean, from judging from the thump and the pull of it, probably seven plus. I lost it, of course, because I wasn't even prepared for it. It was right after the bait hit the bottom. I popped it back up and started reeling. I felt the thump. wasn't even ready for the hook set, so I didn't get that fish. Bummed about that. But as you can see, it works. So get your big bait. Get your six-inch weedless Huddleston RF5. Guys, go with RF5 unless you're fishing like, you know. 15 plus foot on a regular basis get the ROF5 um, I, I mean everyone fish the ROF12 they like the, the they like the 12 swim but that thing just sinks like a rock for me and uh, if you're really trying to get the slow winter fish and you want to fish through the suspended bait school you got to get the ROF5 and um, you can get it you can get an 8 inch if you have the gear for it get an 8 inch and throw it give, give it a, a bottom hook as well because you this is not a bottom bouncing technique you won't be just hitting the bottom and just creeping it up taking 25 minutes to retrieve your bait it's going to be a, a little bit faster retrieve this isn't for the dead winter guys this isn't for michigan in january kind of stuff this is more like 50s 30s to 50s air temperature so that's my tip for the day uh it's really it's a really cool system i'm going to be using it a lot it only requires two rods you don't need a bunch of rods you don't need to throw an alabama ring or anything like that but uh all the stuff's available at tackle warehouse if you don't have huddlestons get them Get a six inch open hook, golden shiner, or whatever, whatever color you want to get. Get ROF5 because this this bait can really work. It can, it can pull a lot of one to eight one to eight pound fish in too. Um, it can pull smaller fish. Guys, don't be don't get me wrong. You know, the one fish I've caught off this bait so far has been uh, has been like a two to three pounder. So I'm having confidence in this. Uh, I thought of it. I've been thinking of it all summer long, waiting for this technique to come around. I thought, wow, what a great system of jerk bait and a big bait. To just get some monster winter winter limits. So, if you're in a tournament, try it. If you're fishing for fun, try it. If you're fishing at all, try it. Because all winter fishing can be tough. And if there's one technique that could put a fish in the boat, it's valuable to you. So, thanks for watching this, guys. And don't don't downplay the winter. You can catch some giant fish. You just gotta know the right techniques. Thanks for watching.